Hey, how you doing? It's your boy Luke, man. It's another day, another dog. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever run into this problem right here inside of ClickFunnels? Maybe sometimes someone shared a funnel with you or using any of those old templates inside ClickFunnels and you get to a point where you are testing your funnels, which a lot of us probably don't even do sometimes, which of course I encourage you, whenever you've been in any funnel inside ClickFunnels, ensure or even anywhere at all, make sure that you test your funnel. Because if you don't, you might run into a problem like this that just says missing purchase. Imagine running all this traffic to your funnel and all to find out that everyone that wants to check out cannot check out because they have this missing purchase. This was a pain in the ass that for a very, very long time I struggled with this and I will have to wait on support to get some kind of help from them until I figured out things that I need to do. Some of the solutions I'm gonna to show to you is actually already there on ClickFunnels, but the problem is you have to kind of click on pages to get there, but I'm gonna give all of, that, all of that to you in just one video. So if you hang on, I'm gonna show you right here, right now, how you will never ever run into this problem again, and if you run into it, how you can kick it right in the groin. Hey, here's that problem staring you right in the face. Imagine your customers are checking out or you're testing your funnel and it keeps saying missing purchase, missing purchase, missing purchase. This dude is a headache. So how can we get rid of this? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys some documents inside of ClickFunnels and I'm gonna show you a funnel to get kind of, you know, cause some things have changed. They have this old document on there, but some of the elements have actually changed. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now so that way when you run into this problem you know how to fix it and again guys if you do not know how to fix this problem it can literally take a whole day i've had some of my team just having to wait for me all day to come and show them how to get rid of this because they cannot get in touch of someone to help them all right so when you're going to click funnels and you click on your document whatever um it shows you that you can actually uh it shows you a document that you can use uh, to take care of that problem it says funnel displays missing purchase which is the keyword when testing an order form okay so over here possible solution according to click funnel is number one you want to ensure that you've added product to your funnel well <laughs> as, as simple as that may sound a lot of us maybe because we're so overwhelmed or we're just so much in a hurry or we just forget sometimes right you forget to add product to your funnel and each time you go in there, you're going to keep seeing that missing purchase, missing purchase, missing purchase, right? And again, so once you do that, make sure that you at least add products to your funnel. And when I say adding products to your funnel, let me show you one right here. So you want to ensure that on this part of your other form, let me show you one. On this part of your other form, click on product and make sure you add a product. Just go over here. Choose whichever uh, payment gateway you want to use. In this case, let's say we're using Stripe, which is probably what a lot of people use. Uh, go ahead and click on continue and add a product right here and make sure you add a price to that product unless that product is free, by the way. Anyway, so make sure you add a product because if you do not do that, it's going to be showing missing purchase and that you do not want, man. It's a headache. It's a headache, guys. Okay, so number two, once you do that, once you add your products, make sure you save your products. And going forward, when you still, if, if you're still having that problem, then we go to solution number two, which is when you see where it says missing product error, what you wanna do is to actually edit the product itself and make sure, let me show you guys that over here. Let's assume this is the product over here that we're trying to edit. Uh, let me go back to the main product page. So we go over here into our products. Let's assume one of these products over here is the one that is giving us issue, right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And make sure it says one time. If it's one time, make sure it says one time. If it's subscription, well, you wanna make sure it shows subscription, but in this case, just show one time. And also you wanna make sure that that product is not if it's your main product, make sure that you not check that it's order bump. A lot of us, sometimes we just check this one and it says uh, it's an order bump product. It used to look like what ClickFunnels is showing you right here. Like over here, should this product be the bump on the other page? But that's the old school one. The new school one actually, they ask you to toggle on this button right here. If it's order bump, just click on order bump. 
Otherwise, if it's not all the bump, if that is your main product or any product on that page, but that is not all the bump product. And if you don't know what all the bump is, it's actually when you buy something on ClickFunnels and you're about to, you put in your credit card and a box shows in the bottom and says, do you want to add this? And you have to check that uh, little checkbox. So that is all the bump. And I discussed that in my other video. So, um, over here, so, uh, and you can, I think you can get that video right here on top of this video somewhere. So. Make sure this is not checked. If it's not auto bump, just ensure that this is not checked and go ahead and save. All right. That is solution number two. Solution number three is that you've got to investigate the element on the page. How do you do that? Well, let me show you. You go over to your page. Go over to your page. Sorry, this is kind of taking a little while. All right. So let's go to overview. And this is actually a very common one, guys. A lot of people kind of overlook this. Even sometimes when you call support, they might have to troubleshoot a lot of things before you can get to this point. So just to save you guys that trouble, ensure that you edit your page. Come over here. The number one thing you want to do when you come to this page is to get rid of any extra code on the page. You want to go over here to setting. Click on tracking code. If there is any code here, there is... You know, that might be in the way. What you have to do is to actually copy those code, delete them. You know, you might paste them somewhere so you can use it another time. And if you have your code and your code is not even lit up like this, and you know, that means that the, the code is not working, by the way, so you don't need it on that funnel. But just in case you have code over here, which would be the reason why you're showing this missing purchase, what you want to do is to copy this code, copy all this code, you know, uh, save them somewhere. Just delete them from this uh, from the funnel because once you do that now, then you can go back and test your funnel. Sometimes it is just as simple as getting rid of that code. Another reason sometimes could be well, this is two, this is a two step order form. Uh, let me show you from uh, a one step order form because sometimes we do not have the right element on the form, especially if. The funnel is shared with you by someone or you just pick any of those old templates inside click funnels and you do not have uh, the right element on there all right because right here you will see that click funnel says when you do that number one thing you want to have is to ensure that you have the select product 2.0 but that element inside of click funnels is not called product 2.0 anymore and i'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, let me go to any of this one right here. Okay, we're gonna go to the other form. This is actually a good one because I ran into that problem on this particular funnel. All right, so you wanna ensure that all these elements right here are present on your funnel. Okay, what do I mean by that? This particular one is what click funnels call, you know, uh, two point, uh, product 2.0 but that is not called product 2.0 anymore rather this is what it's called right now it is actually select product or other select actually it's called other select make sure you add this right here to your funnel because i already have another one so i'm just going to take that one out make sure you add that right there and i'll show that you have another one you know an, another element that is an input email with elements rather i can't speak this morning where people can put in their email and make sure that one is an input right here just add it and set that to email set that to email address just tell them to enter the email address and make sure you check on required over here all right so make sure you have that and once you have that now also ensure that you have the credit card part of it in here Okay, it looks like this over here, but in reality, once you preview it, it does not look, it's not drop down anymore. You literally have to type in uh, the card. So make sure you have that. And this is, uh, this element right here is called credit card. It's just credit card elements, right? So just add that to it. Save it. And another thing you want to do, just in case it's still not working, is you really want to go onto your funnel. Click on this setting right here, especially if you're using more than one gateway, payment gateway rather, or you have, uh, you're even using just one payment gateway, but you have several other, you know, accounts inside of that payment gateway. What I mean by that is this, 
in my in my agency for instance we work for ourselves i mean we have our own products and we have those of our clients so sometimes you have the stripe the wrong stripe account attached to that account right to that funnel so when you go down over here make sure you choose the right stripe account so like how we have several so make sure you choose the right one okay and put it on test mode for you to test it in my own case i'm not testing it no more i'm just going to take it out of test mode so few things one make sure you choose the right because sometimes it just says default right here and if it says default and that is not the uh, if it says default over here but when you're choosing your product when you select when you setting up your products on the other page that i showed you if that is not the account that you choose it's not going to be throwing it's going to be throwing error so make sure you choose the right account in this case we're going to choose viral ad media you see how i have several other ones over here just choose if i choose this right here it's just going to be default but i'm going to choose the one that says viral ad media therefore it is essential that you have that now on another tab you have that stripe account open and go all the way down save it now you can go back to test your funnel so and if you do all of these steps that i showed you and it still does not work well maybe it's time you have to really reach out to click funnels but i guarantee if you do all those things that i showed you you're not going to have any problem anymore hey if you have any other questions just leave it below this video and i'll be more than happy to help you okay guys since you've done that another thing you have to do is to hit that like button and ensure that you you know subscribe to this channel so when i come up with another video like this you will be the first to be notified hey listen there's something new that click funnels is coming out with well not click funnels entirely but russell bronson is coming out with a book called traffic secrets listen i do not know what kind of business you're in but it does not matter what business you are in we all need traffic traffic means customer customers you can convert them and converting them mean you can have more money so russell bronson is coming out with a new book as a matter of fact he tested the materials of this book with us in phoenix arizona for those of us that were in the two common club x he tested the materials in that book with us at that time it was based on overwhelming requests from that group that he decided to put all those things into a book so the book is called traffic secrets this is a must have for each and every one if you want that book that book is going to be very very scarce to get because it's going to come out soon and as soon as it comes out those of us in the two comma club x at that meeting will probably just grab all the available copy but here's what i want to do for you i want to put your name on my on my list so that way once i get my copy i can also send you one so if you want a free copy of that book the secret uh traffic secret that i'm showing you right here make sure to click on the link below i'm going to put you on a waiting list and that way you can have a free copy of that book okay and if you have questions do not forget to send me a message or leave me a message below this video again the only thing you have to do right now to ensure that your funnel works is to hit that like button if you've not done so and subscribe to this channel and i'm gonna see you in another video adios